Creating thumbnails can be so overwhelming when you're just getting started on YouTube. Maybe you don't have a background in graphic design or photography, or you get really overwhelmed when it comes to having to use difficult editing software. We're gonna be talking all about thumbnails today. You gotta just press record. Let's jump right into today's training. Like I said, my name's Heather Torres, and I am here to help you build your influence with video. That's what we do at Think We are on a mission through uh, our YouTube channels, through social media, through our online trainings. We are on a mission to help 10,000 people create a full-time living doing what they love and making an impact on the world through the power of video. Before we get into today's training, I want to let you know that this uh, live stream is brought to you by our brand new class. That is Think Masterclass. This is where you can go and learn everything you want to know about how to win on YouTube this year. Now, when I say everything you need to know, you actually only need to know one strategy. And that's what the founder and CEO of Think Media and Think Marketing teaches you on this free class. I'll tell you more about that at the end. But let's jump into thumbnails. Now, what is a thumbnail? I'm sure you know, right? You're watching a YouTube video. You probably saw my thumbnail and you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to make better thumbnails and make them quick and easy. And let me give you a little background. I do not know how to use Photoshop. I do not know how to use fancy editing software. I do not have a background in graphic design or even in photography, but I made this graphic right here all on a simple software. Now, this isn't necessarily a thumbnail, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. We're gonna do like kind of behind the scenes on this video, and I'm gonna share with you my favorite site for making thumbnails. But what is a thumbnail? Well, a thumbnail, it's a visual image to support the title and topic of the video. That is the job of a thumbnail. It's actually not supposed to be the piece that sells the video. It's supposed to be the supporting element of both the title and the big key, the topic of the video that you're doing. I'm going to give you uh, an image here. This is an image of different thumbnails that were made on a very simple software. I personally think that these thumbnails are eye-catching, they're colorful, they're simple, right? There's a lot of different pieces and elements wrapped into these four thumbnails. And I'll have you know that three of these thumbnails were actually just taken from stock images. I'm going to show you exactly how you can find this information. And that is with a, a well-known website called canva.com. Let me know in the comment section, have you gone to canva.com before? Have you played around on canva.com? If you haven't, your world is about to change. Canva.com, it's such a great piece of software to have in your back pocket for all things creating online. Now, you might be saying, okay, Heather, but is Canva.com free? That's always the go-to question. And yeah, there are free options on Canva.com, but when you think about Canva.com and what it can do for your business, right? Remember, if you're on YouTube, if you're making YouTube videos, you are in business. You might not be making any money, but going into this with the mindset of a business owner, what do business owners do? They invest in their business. They invest in the tools and softwares that they need. And so I recommend actually upgrading into what's called the pro account. It's, it's $12.95 a month. If that's just, you know, a three Starbucks coffees that you don't have that month, it's well worth it for your channel. The second site that I would recommend that actually is free, and we're going to use both of these today during this uh, live training, is unsplash.com. Type that out, unsplash.com. This is a site where you can get uh, great, beautiful images to be able to create beautiful thumbnails. Because here's my hack. My hack is, is that you actually don't have to take pictures of yourself. I know, mind blown. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you how you can make beautiful thumbnails without actually having to take photos. And yes, people in photos are great, but did you know you can succeed on YouTube without ever showing your face in a thumbnail? Did you know that you can make beautiful thumbnails without ever having to be the subject of the picture in the thumbnail? 
you can do this. And I'm going to show you exactly how in this training. So unsplash.com, canva.com, those are the two that you need. Now, are there other websites you can use? Absolutely there are. But today we're just going to be covering these two. And in future trainings, I will definitely show you some other sites that we use for other things. First off, when you see canva.com, guys, if you see what we're doing on Instagram, if you see what we're doing on LinkedIn, some of our advertising, it's all coming from this site. Now, what I love is you can go right up here and you just type in YouTube thumbnail. And when you type in YouTube thumbnail, what's really cool is it actually gives you these different options uh, where you can see it says like you can do travel or beauty or food or music. You have all these options, but you can click right on YouTube thumbnail and it's going to give you all of these beautiful options that you can start making thumbnails with. I love this because it's really great templates and you'll notice their photography is beautiful, but maybe you're like, well, I mean, Heather, I'm doing a vegan cooking channel like Tony from the think media team, him and his wife, Cammie, they have a cooking channel. Now, Tony is a amazing photographer, but if I were to be starting a vegan channel right now, I wouldn't be able to make that type of photography. So you could go here, you go to photos. And the reason that I love canva.com is because they have a wide range of photos. Now you'll see here, I've already practiced this live stream before I went live. And so I'm going to click on vegan. Now, what does it bring up? It brings up a ton of images I can use. And here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an image like this one. Why am I looking for an image like this? Well, because it gives me some space over on the side to actually add some text. So I would actually be taking this text, moving it here and saying something like, let's see, vegan, let's type correctly, Heather, for beginners. Now I can change the color of this. I'm just using a standard font that we use here at Think Media and Think Marketing, just a very simple font that you can use and voila. Look, I now have a thumbnail, vegans for beginners. I can spruce this up. I can maybe make this cool effect on here. I can uh, change the intensity of that. I've got a lot of different options of what I can do to the text. There's all these different text templates that they have. But guys, are you seeing the power of this? Like I could have a vegan channel talking about vegans for beginners. I don't have to be in the thumbnail and I'm using these stock photos right from the platform. Look at how beautiful this is. I would, when you're looking in the feed inside of YouTube, most people click on pretty thumbnails. They're unique. They're clean. They have bright colors, simple text. Maybe something's popping out. There's some dynamics to what happens in a thumbnail. And so this is just one example of how you could use canva.com. Now, if I were to take a photo right now, and I wanted to like cut that out and get rid of my background, you can do this in canva.com now. I don't know if you saw this really cool update that they did at canva.com, you can do this. So here's how you do this. I'm gonna just take an image. Here's just an image that I uploaded, it's just me. Wow, look at that, look at that Heather right there, wow. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click this button that says effect. When I click effect, it says background remover. Now I wanna get rid of this blue background because I wanna change this thumbnail. So it's going to just do a little did do a little dance. Just going to give me that piece. Bam. There is Heather without the background. Now, if I'm going to do a thumbnail, I don't want Heather to be this big, right? When you're doing a thumbnail, you want to do him. You want the subject because it's small. Think about looking at it on my phone. You want to be larger on your thumbnail. So I would actually make myself about yay big on a thumbnail. Now I need a cool background, right? Cause white isn't a great background. Look at what canva.com gives you so many background options. Why don't we look in here and let's do purple. Ooh, I like purple. Okay. So let's do purple and then let's go here and say, what's the best thumbnail? Heather is awesome. That is the best thumbnail of the day. No, just kidding. Um, let's do, how about YouTube for beginners. Okay. So that's going to be my thumbnail. I'm obviously going very quickly just to give you an idea of what you could do, right? So these are just some images that you could use, but isn't that awesome? I just made a super cool thumbnail. I removed the background and then all of a sudden I put a new background on there and now look at how clean that 
image is. Now, all of the images that I showed you at the beginning, that was all, all of those thumbnails. Those were from canva.com. Here again, I'm in photos. I'm going to go to photos and let's say I want to do like um, gifts because I'm going to be doing a gift guide. Oh, this is a good one here. Or maybe I would choose this guy. Why am I choosing this one? Because it's got room over here on the side for the text. Now that is a, uh, just one hack that you can do. Now let's go to unsplash. Maybe you, um, are doing, uh, maybe, okay, let's do this. We use this image in one of our thumbnails. This is the exact image that we use. Look how cool that image is. And we did it for our premiere pro tutorial. We use this exact image from unsplash and we just all you need to do is credit the person in your description. You could use this image here for social media. I mean, there's so many options when you go to unsplash.com. Here's what you want to make sure. You want to make sure you have fewer words in your thumbnail than you have in your title. You want it to be supportive. Remember that it's a supportive part of the whole piece that you need to win on YouTube. You need the title, you need the topic, you need the thumbnail, you need all three of those things to work in holistically in order to make sure that your video gets clicked on. So you want fewer words, you want a clear image, a clear image wins. That's why I, I wanted to change that background of, of blue. Maybe I was standing outside and I wanted to remove the background because I just want a clear image of what I'm trying to show. You can get that image from unsplash.com or you can get that image on Canva when you're paying for the pro account. And the last thing is color matters. Color matters. Remember that if you see this one here, I got this, I made this exact image on Canva. The color pops, it's blue, it's bright. I hope that that was a powerful tip for you uh, to get started with thumbnails. We have additional thumbnail training coming here on the Think Marketing Live show, as well as over in our Think Media YouTube channel. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you are watching and subscribed both here and on Think Media. And after this training, if you've not yet signed up for our one hour free YouTube masterclass, then that would be your next step. You want to learn the three secrets to YouTube success that are working this year. YouTube has changed this year, and we want to teach you the new rules to success on YouTube. So go and register at thinkmasterclass.com. Start making better YouTube videos today with the YouTube Starter Kit. Create videos that get views and get subscribers and ultimately make you money. For a limited time, get 90% off the YouTube Starter Kit, a power-packed digital asset bundle that will dramatically shortcut your path to creating or reviving your YouTube channel. Get it today for only $37. This offer won't last. You'll get instant access to the six resources valued at over $630. So head to tubestarterkit.com and start creating better videos today.